good day. Today we're going to discuss the lesson number one, which is the hand washing. In this lesson, we're going to explain the importance of hand washing and preventing the spread of the disease. And also, we're going to list critical times when hand washing is needed, as well as to demonstrate proper hand washing techniques. Microorganisms such as bacteria and viruses are microscopic organisms that exist everywhere. They cannot be seen with the naked eye, but can easily transfer from objects and surfaces to people or from one person to another. Imagine that this BB powder is the microorganism. This BB powder in my hand represents microorganism. Remember, we can see real microorganism. We just our eyes, but pretend that this is microorganism in my hand. What happens to the white powder and the things that I touch? As you could see, the powder transferred from my hand to the other surfaces or other objects that I have touched. What if I'm going to shake hands with another person? Imagine that it's another person and I'm going to shake it. I'm going to touch his or her hand. So the powder was transferred from my hand to the another person's hand. And what happens when that person touches his or her face? So the powder would be transferred from my hand to the face of the person. As you can see, microorganisms spread easily. They can go from your hand to a surface or from a surface to your body. They can transfer from one person to another. They can even transfer from your hands to your food and drinks. When the microorganism come into contact with your eyes, nose, or mouth, they can enter your body, and this may result into you, in, in you feeling sick. When you see a person who is sneezing, coughing, or has a runny nose, or when a person has a fever and rushes on their skin, it means that microorganisms have invaded their body. If I shake my hand vigorously like this, will it get rid of, a microorgan of the microorganism? See, it won't. If I wipe my hand on this handkerchief, will it get rid of the microorganism? Some of the microorganism, the powder, transferred to the handkerchief or the towel. Hand washing is one of the best ways to get rid of, the, of this microorganism. Soap can kill this microorganism so washing your hands properly can help prevent the spread of microorganisms that cause people to get sick. How often and when you should wash your hands? Since microorganisms are not easily seen by the naked eye, they can easily spread without our knowledge. These are the times when we need to remember to wash our hands. First, before, during, and after preparing food. Next would be before eating food. Also, after coughing or sneezing, and also before and after caring for a sick person. We should also wash our hands after using the toilet, touching mommy, touching animals or animal waste, touching garbage or dirty dishes. Just putting soap and rubbing our hands together and rinsing off the soap does not ensure that all the microorganisms will be washed away. There is a proper way to wash your hands. First, apply soap and create a thick lather for about 20 seconds. Next would be rub your palms, palms together while intertwining your fingers. Then rub the backs of your fingers and fingertips against the opposite palm. Do the same with the other hand. Afterwards, grasp one thumb and rub with a rotating motion. Do the same with the other thumb. Follow that with rubbing one palm against the back of the other palm, and vice versa. Lastly, rinse your hands with running water. Remember, microorganisms can also exist on cloth, towels, 
So after washing your hands, it is better to air dry your hands. If you are not able to immediately wash your hands with soap and water, you can use hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol, which also helps to kill microorganisms. By looking at the product label, you will see how much alcohol the product contains. But remember, sanitizer cannot remove all types of microorganisms, and it's not as effective as soap and water, especially if your hands are visibly dirty or soiled. When using hand sanitizer, apply the product to the palm of one hand, rub your hands together, rub the product all over the surface of your hands and fingers until your skin feels dry. This should take about 20 seconds. Remember, hand washing is one of the best measures to protect yourself and others from getting sick because it prevents the spread of microorganisms and reduces the risk of getting other communicable infections. Be responsible for your health by regularly practicing good hygiene. As to make sure that you have learned the proper technique of hand washing, I suggest that you will, uh, you will send a video presentation wherein you are showing how how you perform the proper hand washing technique and sent to the Malabon National High School wellness page. And with that, thank you for 